Mapagpalang araw po sa lahat ng mga nakikiisa sa ating pagdiriwang at uh, pansamantala po ay hindi tayo nagkaroon ng uh, banal na misa kaninang alas 8 ng umaga. Ito po ay upang bigyang daan ang ating uh, gaganaping uh, maringal na pagdiriwang ngayon ng ordinasyon para sa pagpapari nila Reverend Mark Anthony Katilogo at ni Reverend Edward Anthony Cometa. At ito po nga po ngayon sa ilang saglit ay uh, magsisimula na kaya naman po inaanyayahan ng lahat na aktibong makiisa dito po sa ating online streaming sa ating Facebook na uh, Roman Catholic Diocese of Cubao at sa atin din pong uh, YouTube channel ay live po ninyo itong mapapanood at yan po ay uh, sa ilang saglit lamang po ay iyahatid na namin sa inyo ang kanilang ordinasyon na sa gitna po ng ating uh, nararanasan na krisis ang uh, pandemya ang COVID-19 ay uh, talaga pong uh, mayroon pa rin uh, mabuting balita para sa ating lahat na mga mananampalataya dahil po ating ipagdiriwang ang uh, uh, pagkakaroon ng mga bagong pari sa ating uh, diocese dito po sa Diocese of Cubao. Kaya naman po muli tayo po ay uh, magantabay at uh, magsisimula po ang ating uh, pagdiriwang sa ilang saglit lamang. Today, we thank the Lord for the gift of vocation given to our two brothers, Reverend Mark Anthony Catilogo and Reverend Edward Anthony Cometa, who will offer themselves to God through the rite of ordination to the sacred order of presbyters. As we celebrate the feast day of St. Anthony of Padua, may they imitate from him the joyous example of preaching the gospel always, to live their priesthood with simplicity of heart and total dedication in their ministry. Our main presider for this celebration is the Most Reverend Honesto F. Ongkyoko Didi, the Bishop of Cubao. Please all rise and join the choir in singing the entrance hymn.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. On this feast day of St. Anthony of Padua, we thank the Lord for giving us two new servants in the Lord's vineyard who, in spite of this pandemic situation that we are in, are eagerly and freely offer themselves to God through this holy consecration. In a special way, we remember their parents who are unable to attend due to our pandemic situation, but still full with thanksgiving in this joyous day. More importantly, I enjoin you to include in your prayers our two deacons who will today offer themselves to God by embracing the priestly ministry. <clears throat> Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, I have greatly seen in, in my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what I have, I have done, done and in, in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most, most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
kasalanan ang sandiputan. Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Ikaw na lang dudutlok sa kanan ng amba. Let us pray. Lord our God, who in governing your people make use of the ministry of priests, grant a persevering obedience to your will to these deacons of your church whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood so that by their ministry and life they may gain glory for you in Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, do not say, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them. For I am with you to deliver you, oracle of the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying to me, See, I place my words in your mouth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
not afraid I have made you I have saved you I have called you A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, he had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. 
you know how I lived among you the whole time, from the day I first came to the province of Asia. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth to draw the disciples away from them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of His that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remain in me as I remain in you, just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As a father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing and make the sign of the cross as the bishop blesses us with the book of the gospel. After the gospel reading, the local church requests the bishop to ordain the candidates. This shows that priesthood is not simply a personal choice of the candidates, but a decision 
made by the church. The bishop inquires about the worthiness of the candidates. The response is accepted and confirmed by the church, represented by the liturgical assembly. The candidates will hence be called the elect. Let him who is to be ordained priest come forward. Reverend Mark Anthony Catilogo E. Tejerero. Present. Reverend Edward Anthony Cometa E. Atrejeno. Present. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these men, our brothers, for the order of the priesthood. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our dear Vicar General, Father Steve. Our Director of the Cathedral, Father Dennis. Father Ronald. Father Aitoy. Father Armand. My dear brother priests, Reverend Sisters families and friends of our Ordinandai, Reverend Edward and Reverend Jepoy, my dear people of God, isang pinagpala at magandang araw po sa ating lahat, maayong buntag sa inyong tanan. I have been a bishop for almost 22 years and I have ordained many deacons and priests and it is my first time. Ito po ang kauna-unahang pagkakataon na ako'y mag-ordain ng mga pare na naka-online. Dahil kokonti lamang ang maaring dumalo o makiisa physically. May ask all those who are one with us to follow prayerfully the whole Mass and the ordination rite to the sacred order of presbyters. It is catechetical and formative in nature. We can deepen our love and knowledge of the priesthood of Jesus through this celebration. Allow me to share just three points. A word on thanksgiving. A word on the readings. A word on St. Anthony. So first, a word of thanksgiving. One of my petitions in my daily prayers is to ask the Lord for more vocations to the priesthood. Today, 
This is fulfilled with the ordination of Reverend Edward and Reverend Jepoy. I thank the Lord for these great gifts of two priests in the Diocese of Cubao. I also thank their families. Though they are distant at this moment, kahit na bumili ng ticket, <laughs> may ticket na yung father ni Father Jepo and the relatives of our Ordinandai, they can't be with us today. And yet, they are one with us. Reverend Edward is from Eastern Samar. And Reverend Jepoy is from Palo Leyte. Salamat po sa nanay ni Reverend Edward, si Lisenia. At ang kanyang papa, si Samuelito Sr. na pumanaw na noong 2003. Palagay ko, tuwang-tuwa siya sa itaas at nakikisa sa ating pagdiriwang. Salamat din sa papa ni Reverend Jepoy, si Joe Fell, at nani niya si Paz. Thank you for offering your sons to serve the church in particular the Diocese of Cubao. Binabati ko din po ang tatlong kapatid ni Reverend Ed, sina Deli Jane, Samuelito II, Eliza, at ang kaisa-isang kapatid ni Reverend Jepoy, si Jaira. I would like to thank all those who inspired and support them all these years. Both my brother priests, hindi ko nababanggitin ang mga pangalan nila, yung iba na rito, and our lay people in the different parishes where they served, had their apostolate, and they are presently serving. Please continue to pray for our renewal and sanctification. A word on the readings. Today, Reverend Edward and Reverend Chepoy, the Lord confirms once more your vocation to the priesthood. As the prophet Jeremiah reminds us in the first reading, He has called and dedicated you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. Do not be afraid. He will touch your mind, your heart, your whole person. He will touch the people to whom you will be sent. He promised to be with you in carrying out the mission He has given you. Do not be afraid. St. Paul warns you about the difficulties and dangers you will encounter. But do not be afraid. The Lord will be with you. Be firm. Be steadfast. Be vigilant in watching over yourselves and over the flock you are asked to tend. In the gospel, Jesus assures you of his love. And he asks you to remain in his love. He uses the word remain at least ten times in this chapter with the image of the vine and branches, previous verses before our gospel. Your life cannot be fruitful without remaining in him. He wants his joy to be yours so that your joy will be complete. Part of remaining in him is to imitate his love, a love that gives one's life for others. You have experienced this during this quarantine period when you went out of your way to reach out to street people to the poor, 
to those in need, those who are and are relying on the generosity and kindness of other people. By being a frontliner, you give hope, peace, comfort, and joy to many. Continue to serve and minister to people with passion, zeal, and enthusiasm. Do not just try to possess the Lord in prayer, but allow Him to take possession of you each day of your life. The pandemia has taught us to seek what is important, essential, and lasting in this world. It has made us and people aware of seeking the truth, what is beautiful, and giving priority to the family and relationships. A word on Saint Anthony. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Anthony. Wag kayong magtaka kung bakit pinili ang araw na ito. Pareho pong Anthony itong bagong pari natin. Reverend Edward Anthony Cometa and Reverend Mark Anthony Katilogo. Sabi nga kanina, hindi na pwedeng i-postpone ito. Bakit? Nakalagay na mga tarpaulin sa kanila na, <laughs> na oh, congratulations sa mga bagong pare. <laughs> so, we have to push through. <laughs> so, I'm sure that we are all inspired by the holiness of St. Anthony as they are. He was a tireless preacher of the word and protector of the poor. And so he died at the age of 36. We ask him to pray for us and for Reverend Edward and Reverend Je Jepoy that we may all be close to Jesus. He was filled with the love of Jesus and gave witness passionately to him. We see the child Jesus standing on a book near him and embracing him. People were deeply touched by his preaching because they heard the voice of God. Allow me to end with an excerpt from one of his sermons where he says, actions speak louder than words. And I quote, the man who is filled with the Holy Spirit speaks in different languages. These different languages are different ways of witnessing to Christ, such as humility, poverty, patience, and obedience. We speak in those languages when we reveal in ourselves these virtues to others. Actions speak louder than words. Let your words teach and your actions speak. Amen. In the presence of the local church with its bishop, the clergy and the faithful, each elect expresses his resolve to carry out his priesthood in accord with the mind of Christ and the church. In dialogue with the bishop, each elect promises to do the work of priestly ministry and to live according to the demands of the office.
dear sons, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve with the help of the Holy Spirit to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral rank as worthy fellow workers with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? I do. I do. Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely? preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith. I do. Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people. I do. Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care by observing the command to pray without ceasing? I do. Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ the High Priest who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice and with him to consecrate yourself to God for the salvation of all? I do, I do with, with the, the help, help of God. God. Promise of Obedience it is through Christ's obedience unto death that he defeated sin brought about by human disobedience. Obedience marks the authentic disciple of the Lord. Obedience is the only thing we can truly offer God. It serves the unity of the church and guarantees fruitfulness in the ministry. Priests promise obedience to the bishop because their priestly ministry rests upon the bishop. The placing of the elect's joined hands between those of the bishop comes from the Middle Ages and is a solemn gesture of promising loyalty to a person of higher rank. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, Bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. Be God who has begun to good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Litany of Supplication In the litany, we ask God's grace for the elects. The elects prostrate on the ground as an act of total surrender to God. We call upon our brothers and sisters in heaven, the saints, to assist the elects in their life and ministry as a priest. The litany is also an assurance that they will not be alone in this life because saints in heaven and on earth will be with them. My dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven on this his servants whom he has chosen for the office of priests. Please all kneel.
signatures of Antioch, Saint Lawrence. Protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the clergy in faithful service to your church. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in trust and peace. Strengthen us in your service. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless these chosen men and make them holy and consecrate them to your sacred duties. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God,
Hear us, we beseech you, Lord our God, and pour out on these servants of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace that these men, whom in the sight of your mercy we offer to be consecrated, may be surrounded by your rich and unfailing gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand. The Rite of Ordination These are the essential parts of the Rite of Ordination, the laying on of hands and the prayer of ordination. Through these, the elects are marked with an indelible sacred character and constituted as a sacred minister of Christ and His Church. They bestow the gifts of the Holy Spirit that conforms the priest to Christ, the eternal high priest. The laying on of hands. This gesture invokes the Holy Spirit upon the elects. It is the same Spirit that is present in Christ, our eternal high priest, and the same Spirit of priesthood that the elects share with the bishop and the other presbyters. The concelebrants also lay their hands on the candidates as a sign of their communion in the priesthood of Christ, and to signify the ordinance incorporation into the presbyterate. While the laying on of hands is taking place, the faithful should pray silently. The Prayer of Ordination The prayer invokes what God has done in the past for His people. He gave His people priests to minister to them. We pray that as God has done so in the past, He now gives us these men to be His priests, and so we ask Him to grant these men what they need in priestly life, the Holy Spirit. It is the Spirit who produces in them the power and charisms needed in their ministry. The assembly takes part in the prayer of ordination by quietly praying with the bishop and affirming what has been prayed with Amen. Throw near, 
O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, Author of human dignity, it is you who apportion all graces. Through you everything progresses. Through you all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appoint ministers of Christ, your Son, by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already, in the earlier covenant, offices arose, establishing through mystical rites when you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them. You chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too, in the desert, you implanted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of the 70 wise men and with their help. He ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the sons of Aaron, you poured an abundant share in their father's plenty that the number of the priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you sent your Son into the world, Jesus, who is apostle and high priest of our confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim and he made his apostles consecrated in the truth sharers in his mission you provided them also with companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole world and now we beseech you lord in our weakness to grant us this helper that we need to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, to these servants the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within them the spirit of holiness that they henceforth possess this office which comes from you, O God and is next in rank to the office of bishop. By the example of their manner of life, may they instill right conduct. May they be worthy co-workers with our order, so that by his preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may they be faithful stewards of your mysteries so that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished at your altar so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May they be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to their care and for all the world. And so may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your one people and made perfect in your kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
rites show the effects of ordination. The newly ordained are vested to show that they are now priests. Their palms will be anointed with holy chrism to indicate that they had been anointed priests and consecrated to God's service. And now, they will be able to consecrate and bless and celebrate the sacraments. They will receive the bread and wine as they will preside at the Eucharist and consecrate these elements into the body and blood of Christ. Investiture The new priests receive the stole, the principal vesture that symbolizes their life and ministry as priests. Over it is worn the chasuble, the vestment of the Eucharist. The stole and chasuble are symbols of the priestly ministry. Anointing of Hands The hands of the new priests are anointed with the Holy Chrism, expressing outwardly their interior consecration and dedication to the service of God and people. The anointing of hands underscores the fact that the strength they need to carry out their ministry comes from the Holy Spirit with whom Jesus was anointed by the Father. The anointing of the hands symbolizes the priest's distinctive participation in Christ's priesthood. The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit, and power guard and preserve you that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Presentation of the Bread and Wine By receiving the gifts of bread and wine for the Eucharistic celebration, the new priests are reminded that priesthood is a daily dying to the self for the service of God and the faithful. The handing over of the bread and wine placed into the hands of the newly ordained points to their duty of presiding at the celebration of the Eucharist and of following the example of Christ, who offers his life for all. receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God understand what you do imitate what you celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's
cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate. And conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who have willed that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, Grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray that the labors of your servants may constantly please you and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
for by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son high priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design, were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood, the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption to set before your children the paschal banquet to lead your holy people in charity to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way when supper was sended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Donesto, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, this your servant who has been ordained today as a priest for the Church, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, especially Samuelito, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give him admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Yeah. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new life to your priests and to all your servants that, united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We call Father Steve to welcome the newly ordained to the clergy of the Diocese of Cubao. Father uh, Jepoy and uh, Father Edward, Naatasan ako na mag-welcome sa inyo formally to the clergy of Cubao. So palakpakan natin ulit ang dalawang paring ito. Sinabi nga ni Bishop at kami rin, this is the very first time that we attended an ordination with no people. Wala rin yung mga families. Wala rin yung dapat mag-welcome sa inyo ng mga kapwa pari ninyo, ang uh, the best clergy in the world ang Kubao clergy. And we know the reason why. Very, very obvious. Because naka-lockdown pa ang mga tao. And we are still under GCQ. We are only allowed limited people sa isang gathering. And uh, understandable you all. Uh, but the hearts of the clergy of Kubao are not locked down. Their hearts are reaching out to you. If you can see the viber thread of the Kubao clergy, they are expressing their love for you and solidarity and congratulatory uh, wishes. And it is the same thing that we wish upon you, that on your ordination, while the people are locked down, please, ang inyong mga puso, sana hindi naka-quarantine. Have an unquarantined heart. You can find inspiration with one of our clergy who, are, who is here is our chief liturgist, Father Ron Ron. No? Si Father Ron Ron, meron siyang track ni Kuya. At alam niyo kung ano yung track ni Kuya. Ang ginagawa ng paring ito, nagmimisa siya sa kanyang track doon sa mga paligid ng kanya, sa mga kalsada na nasasakupan ng kanyang parokya. He is a priest who is not locked down. Our faith is not locked down. Love for people is not locked down. Compassion is not locked down. Of course, si Father Ron Ron, nakipag-coordinate uh, po yan sa barangay and with proper protocol para may sagawa yung ganoong uh, 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 under GCQ, track ni Kuya na Misa. 
And that's our wish for you. As we welcome you in the Cubao clergy, please have an unquarantined heart. Especially during this pandemic when people are locked down, please have your hearts reaching out to these people who are locked down. And that's the passage you've read today, that you chose, uh, the, the gospel that you've chosen for your ordination. Sabi ng Diyos, I give you a new commandment, love one another. And take note, love can never be locked down. May you be a priest that is always reaching out. Never quarantine, never locked down. Because your heart, like the heart of God, is borderless. It's timeless and always reaches out to people. So muli, I formally welcome you on behalf of the Bishop of Cubao and all the rest of the clergy of Cubao. Welcome to the best clergy in the world. Congratulations. Ngayon, ito na interesante. No? Itong ginagawa usually kapag kanuli ordain ay ina-announce ang inyong appointments. Saan kaya kayo dadalhin ng ating obispo? Now may I call on Father uh, Ronald Makale, the Episcopal Vicar for the Clergy, to formally announce your first assignment as newly ordained priest. Thank you, Father Steve. Roman Catholic Bishop of Cubao, 41 Lantana Street, Cubao, Quezon City, Philippines. Appointment. Beloved brother in Christ, Reverend Father Mark Anthony T. Catilogo, by this instrument, we officially assign your reverence as parochial vicar of the Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao, 40 Lantana Street, Cubao, Quezon City. We trust that those matters which are entrusted to your care by the pastor of the parish and all other affairs which are subject to your ministry will be executed with Christian faith, zeal, and prudence. All faculties, rights, and privileges which by canon law, diocesan statutes, and approved customs are inherent to the position whether in spiritual or temporal matters are granted by to the appointee. You will function as parochial vicar of the aforesaid parish effective July 1, 2020. Given this 13th day of June 2020 at the Chancery of the Diocese of Cubao. Signed, Onesto F. Ontioco D.D. Bishop of Cabao, attested by Father Frederick Edward C. Simon, Chancellor. The Roman Catholic Bishop of Cubao, 41 Lantana Street, Cubao, Quezon City, Philippines. Appointment. Beloved brother in Christ, Reverend Father Edward Anthony A. Cometa, by this instrument, we officially assign your reverence as parochial vicar of Our Lady of Hope Parish, 107 Row 3, Bagong Pag-asa, Quezon City. We trust that those matters which are entrusted to your care by the pastor of the parish and all other affairs which are subject to your ministry will be executed with Christian faith, zeal, and prudence. All faculties, rights, and privileges which by canon law, diocesan statutes, and approved customs are inherent to the position, whether in spiritual or temporal matters, are granted to the appointee. You will function as parochial vicar of the aforesaid parish effective July 1, 2020. Given this 13th day of June 
2020 of the Chancery of the Diocese of Cubao. Signed, Oneso F. Antioco D.D., Bishop of Cubao. Attested by Father Frederick Edward C. Simon, Chancellor. Now I would like to read to you the certificate of recognition to their parents. The Roman Catholic Bishop of Cubao, 41 Lantana Street, Cubao, Quezon City, Philippines. The Roman Catholic Bishop of Cubao gratefully presents this certificate of recognition to the deceased Mr. Samuelito A. Cometa Sr. and Mrs. Lesenia Abusejo A. Cometa for their valuable contribution to the priestly formation of their son, Reverend Father Edward Anthony A. Cometa, and offering him for the service of God and the local church of Cubao. Given this 13th day of June 2020 at the Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao, 40 Lantana Street, Cubao, Quezon City. Signed, Oneso F. Antioco, D.D., Bishop of Cubao. Same uh, citation given to the parents of uh, Father Mark Antti Catilogo to his parents, Mr. Jose Feliciano D. Catilogo and Mrs. Pasti Catilogo. Maganda umaga po sa inyong lahat. Salamat sa Diyos, pari na kami. <laughs> Welcome to the club, the Pandemic Fathers. Sa hinabahaba ng quarantine, sa katedral din ang tuloy. Salamat po sa Diyos. Hindi man po ito ang celebration na naimagine namin noon, isang bagay po ang pinapaalala ng Diyos sa amin. that there are things in life that we are not in control. At sa pag-aalay ng sarili na ginawa namin ni Father Jepoy ngayon, ay patunay na hindi na kami ang may control sa buhay namin. Iniaalay namin sa Diyos ang aming buhay, lakas, karunungan, at lahat ng kakayahan. Kaya po una sa lahat, labis ang aming pasasalamat sa Diyos na kami ay tinawag niya upang maglingkod bilang mga pari. Truly, may the good Lord bring into perfection the good work that He has begun in us. Pasalamatan po natin ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng palakpak. Salamat sa Diyos. Sunod po sa ating mahal na inambirheng Maria, salamat po sa patuloy na paggabay at pagtulong sa lahat ng aming mga hiling at hinaing. At sa aming patrono, San Antonio de Padua, maraming salamat sa araw na ito. Sa aming pong mga kapamilya, mga kamag-anak at mga mahal sa buhay, sinana kasama ng mga kapatid niya sa giwan, sa parents po ni Jepoy, dyan sa palo, maraming salamat po sa paniniwala at pagtitiwala sa aming bukasyon. This may not be the celebration that we have all have in mind, but rest assured, that we are happier to know that you are safe and sound attending our ordination through this live streaming. Sa lahat ng pari na nagsilbing gabay at inspirasyon para sa amin ni Jepoy, maraming salamat sa inyong paggabay at suporta sa aming paglalakbay. 
In a special way, I would like to thank the priests of the Society of St. Paul, represented today by my dearest father, Arman Tangi, SSP. Thank you so much, dear fathers, for molding me into becoming a modern apostle of social communications. For Father Jepoy, he also thanked the clergy of the Archdiocese of Palo, who molded him from minor seminary until his philosophy day studies, represented here by Monsignor Bernardo Pantin. And also, he also wishes to thank Father Aitoy sa paggabay sa kanya. Also, our hearts are filled with thanksgiving to all our Dominican formators and professors who helped us and formed us during our theological studies at the USD Ecclesiastical Faculties. A special thanks to our seminary rector, Very Reverend Father Kiriko T. Pedregosa, Jr., who is joining us today via live stream there in Iloilo. Lalo kaming nagpapasalamat ni Father Jeboy sa aming mga kapatid na pari, the clergy of the Dice of Cubao, na walang sawang sumuporta, gumabay, at nag-inspire sa amin upang lubusang ialay ang aming sarili sa paglilingkod sa Diyos. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, Padre. Sa ating Vicar General, Father Stephen Zabala, Salamat po sa walang pag-atubiling paniniwala na matutuloy ang ordinasyon na ito. Salamat, Father, at ikaw ang naging daan sa aking transition to the diocese. Sa ating Chancellor, Father Jojo Simon, at Vice Chancellor, Father Mike T. Salamat po sa pag-asikaso sa aming ordinasyon at sa paggabay sa amin habang pinaghandaan ang araw na ito. Sa ating Vicar for the Clergy, Father Ronald Makale, Salamat po sa walang sawang pag-aasikaso at paganda sa amin para sa araw na ito. In a special way, thank you Padre dahil kasama kita mula sa umpisa at sa itong pagtatapos ng aking journey sa pag through this ordination. <laughs> sa ating ikonomos, Father Herbal Torres, salamat po Padre sa pagkupkop sa akin noong bagong lipat ako at di mo ako pinabayaan. sa journey na to. Sa ating vocation director, Father Gilbert, Gilbert Guidosor Domlao, salamat po sa pagiging malalahanin at mapagkalingang vocation director sa aming mga seminarista. Sa ating auditor, Father Aitoy Opiniano, maraming salamat po sa paggabay nyo sa amin, lalong-lalo na kay Jepoy, na why maambunan kami ng iyong pagiging masigasig sa paglilingkod. Sa ating cathedral rector and parish priest, Reverend Father Dennis Soriano, Maraming salamat po sa buong suportang ipinagkalob mo sa aming dalawa at pag-aasikaso sa preparasyon ng katedral para sa araw na ito. Sa ating media director, Father Herbie Santos, kasama si Kuya Philip Rufino at Yana Villajos, maraming salamat po sa, sa coverage at live streaming ng pagdiriwang na ito. Sa ating HR director, Father Bong Topino, maraming salamat po sa inyong tulong para sa ordinasyon na ito. Sa mga Benedictine monks, Abot Austin, Father Tarsi, Father Placid, maraming salamat po sa pagtulong sa aming spiritual na paghanda para sa araw na ito. Sa mga minamahal kong PDDM sisters, lalong-lalo na sina Sister Benedict at Sister Jezebel at Sister Anthony Basa, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtulong. Sa nagsilbing choir sa araw na ito, Ma'am Tikya and Sir Jude Roldan, sa ating cantor, Father Jello Parlan, Sa ating commentator, Seminarian Diet Granada, maraming salamat po sa inyong magandang tinig at awit ng papuri na tunay ngang masarap pakinggan. Sa nagpahiram po ng napakanda, napakagandang imahe ni San Antonio de Padua, maraming salamat po sa kabutihan mo, Kuya Anthony Domingo ng Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Sa pamilya po ni Natito Mani at Tita Lily Eres kasama si Regina Eres, Maraming salamat po sa inyong kabutihan para sa aming printing needs. Sa ating pinagkakapitagang Liturgical Affairs Director, Father Ron Ron Roberto, kasama sina Kuya Randy Bayawa, AJ Barbadillo, David Glover at Ara Judel Hamandra, salamat po sa walang maliw na pagsuporta sa aming dalawa at pagsasaayos ng ating liturhiya sa araw na ito. 
sa lahat po ng staff ng ating Chancery Office, staff ng ating Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao, at sa lahat ng parokya na kami ay nadistino ni Jepoy, simula nung kami ay seminarista at hanggang sa maging diakono, kami po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa pakikibahagi ninyo sa aming paglalakbay. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng inyong panalangin at suporta. Sa lahat ng aming mga kamag-anak, kaibigan, kakilala, na hindi nagsawang sumuporta, naniwala at nagtiwala sa aming bukasyon, ang ordinasyon na ito ay tagumpay nyo rin. Salamat sa Diyos at hindi ninyo kami sinukuan. Salamat sa Diyos at nanatili kayo. Higit sa lahat, sa lubos po ang aming pasasalamat sa butihing ama ng ating diocesis, ang lubhang kagalang-galang Onesto Flores Ongtioco Didi. Maraming salamat po Bishop sa pagbabahagi ng inyong pagkapari sa amin. Makakaasa po kayong kami maglilingkod na kasama ka para sa Diyos at para sa kawa ni Kristo. At kung may nakaligtaan man po akong pasalamatan, nawa ang Diyos na po ang bahalang magsukli sa inyong kabutihan. Patuloy niyo po sana kami ipagdasal na kami maging mabuti at banal na pastol sa kawa ng Diyos. Hindi lang po kami naghanda para sa ordinasyon na ito, naghanda po kami para sa aming pagkapari. Mga kapatid, pari na si Jepoy, pari na ako, pari na kami, piniling magpari kahit pandemya. Salamat sa Diyos at maraming salamat sa inyo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who founded a church and guides her still, protect you constantly with His grace that you may faithfully discharge the duties of the priesthood. Amen. May He make you as servants and witnesses in the world to divine charity and truth and faithful ministers of reconciliation. Amen. May He make you true shepherds to provide the living bread and the word of life to the faithful that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Pakailanman, katulad 